Hello and welcome to your September 29th, 2023 full moon reading. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. If you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, without further ado, ado, let's have a look at the full moon. The full moon is coming in at 10.57 a.m. UK time on the 29th of September and it sits in the sign of Aries. Now Aries is the very first sign of the zodiac. Um, therefore the full moon um, wouldn't necessarily say it supports the energy of progress but it has the energy of progress. So the, the, the sign of Aries, Aries is a doer, which means you, know, you still have to go into the swing yourself. Um, but once you realize that the full moon on, the, on September the 29th, 2023, not only illuminates your path, but also allows you to then go full steam ahead and go after what it is you want, that makes a lot of sense just to realize this because that is the energy um, that Aries has. You know, the doer, the, the sign that sort of builds empires from the ground up. So the point is, you do not have to have any doubts, any worries, any procrastination will not help you manifest. And you don't have to have that because the full moon is in the sign of Aries. Really, really important. <clears throat> so, another thing that is happening is that just two days after the full moon, when we're still in the energy of um, the September full moon, the moon itself will then be very close to Jupiter on the 1st of September. And on the 2nd of September, it will be between Jupiter and the Pleiades. Now, in the Native American origin story, we do come from the stars. We do come from a place called the Pleiades, um, and it is uh, also known as, this, as the Seven Sisters, a constellation above Taurus. The point is, energetically speaking, because we do come from the stars and the moon is on the way home. So the good thing about this full moon is that you will have an innate sense of that was the right decision. So any doubt you may have at all comes from either conditioning or um, people having put the doubt inside you or you know life experiences uh, have made you doubtful bottom line is the full moon is all about releasing letting it go going after what it is you really want to do and aries is an amazing sign to do that in um, so that is really really important for you to to never stop uh, um, going after what it is you want and in September, like I said, um, it will be uh, an amazing uh, energy for you to, to go forward. The other really thing, important thing that has, that has happened then, by then, um, is that we just went uh, into the um, September equinox. So the point is, equinoxes um, can be seen as like reset buttons, right? So before the full moon, at the time of the of the um, the, the, the eclipse, um, uh, sorry, the equinox in September, you know, maybe you should make a list about what it is you want to to want to do, what it is you want to um, go after, if that makes sense, what it is you're manifesting here, um, and then use that extra strength that the equinox allows you uh, to carry forward. Uh, when the full moon is fully here, bottom line is this is an amazing time for going after what it is you want. Don't look back, really, really important. Okay, so that was all we got for today. Um, quite, quite uh, short and sweet. Um, and that's all I got. Um, like I said, you know, please like, subscribe and share. And if you are interested in, in my work, um, I'm now an executive uh, contributor for The Brains magazine. Um, and I write a lot for their uh, mindfulness section and um, I leave a link in the description box below for you to have a look at some of my articles there um, and um, yeah that's all I got 
see you all next month bye bye